In this example, I need to find the exact value of the cosine of 105 degrees. Since it says exact value, that means I cannot use my calculator because that will give me a decimal approximation. So I'm going to have to use my unit circle shown over here along with some identities. And here are a couple of useful identities. They're the cosine of a sum and the cosine of a difference. So is it possible to combine two angles on the unit circle, either by addition or subtraction, and land up with 105 degrees? Yes, there are in fact quite a few different ways of doing this, and the one that seems most obvious to me is 45 plus 60 add up to 105 degrees. So I'm going to work out the cosine of 105 degrees by evaluating the cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. However, I could have used the cosine of a difference and then said 105 degrees is 135 degrees minus 30 degrees. Remember, there are quite a few different ways of doing this problem. And going on to the next slide where I have more room, I'm going to use the cosine of 105 degrees equals the cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So here is the identity I'm going to be using. The cosine of A plus B equals cosine A times cosine B minus the sine of A times the sine of B. So in this case, my A is 60 degrees. So wherever you see an A, you're going to put a 60 degrees. And wherever you see a B, you're going to put 45 degrees. So I'm just going to get the cosine of 60 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees minus the sine of 60 degrees times the sine of 45 degrees. Now all we have to do is find those values from the unit circle. And here I've got a bigger version of the first quadrant of the unit circle. So remember, points on the unit circle, the x-coordinate is the cosine of theta and the y-coordinate is the sine of theta. So cosine of 60 degrees, the x-coordinate of this point, so it's one half, times the cosine of 45 degrees, the x-coordinate of this point, the square root of 2 divided by 2 minus the sine of 60 degrees, here's 60 degrees, the y-coordinate is the square root of 3 divided by 2, times the sine of 45 degrees, its y-coordinate is the square root of 2 divided by 2. So simplifying, 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2, over 2 times 2 is 4, minus the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 6, divided by 2 times 2 is 4. So since they have a common denominator, I can just write the square root of 2 minus the square root of 6, all divided by 4. And that is the exact answer for the cosine of 105 degrees we can quickly check your answer on the calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And then find the cosine of 105 degrees. Hit enter. That is the approximate solution for the cosine of 105 degrees. Now we're going to put this in to see if we get the same approximation. Don't forget, you must have the whole numerator in parentheses. So you open your parentheses, then I need the square root of 2. Notice my cursor is still under the radical sign, so arrow over. 
minus the square root of 6. Arrow over again. And now close your parentheses. So that is my whole numerator. And then we're just going to divide it by 4. Do I get the same answer? Yes. So this tells me this is the exact answer for the cosine of 105 degrees.